uh, you really like this every single day because it makes me feel like, ah! Mm. <laughs> it's crunchy. Eh? It's so good. And I'll have a couple of days in a row where it's like, this is not happening. Something is going to have to stop because this is just getting out of control. I'm Charlie and this is my husband Tom, aka Pocket and Dundee. After five years of adventures around the world, I finally emigrated to Australia in early 2020. We got married and then like many people, found ourselves having to change our whole lifestyle, so we're now adapting the best we can. We started a new business, moved to the Australian South Coast, and just to up the stakes even more, we're now expecting our first child. Make sure you're subscribed to follow us on this crazy adventure. Morning guys. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the fact that I have a love-hate relationship with productivity. I was just putting my makeup on, getting ready for the day, watching Matt Diavella's new video he just dropped, which is how I stay productive all day. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I totally love when I'm like super productive and I love watching these sort of things because it motivates me to really, you know, get going and pursue things and tick off that all your to-do list stuff, you know. But on the flip side of it, it's like I look at them and I'm like, really? Are you really like this every single day? Because it makes me feel like, ah, am I supposed to be like super productive, ticking everything off every single day? Because I, no, I'm not. <laughs> Anyway, let me just put this down for a second. So it's Saturday today for us. Obviously you guys know that I generally like to film over the weekend, mainly because we seem to do more stuff. Except that this weekend it's literally like just work, work, work. Um, I'm not going to go into depth with everything that we have to do because it's this is just a lot, you know. Tom is actually away at the moment. Well, he was away last night because him and his friend wanted to do some early morning squidding. So, um, as in like they get up at like three in the morning and go squidding at like four, five, something like that. So they decided they were just going to go camping because it made more sense. So I'm waiting for him to come back. I'm hoping that when he gets back, if he's not too tired, he's so going to be really sleepy, but if he's not too tired, we're going to film the second part to the Q&A because there were just too many amazing questions. You guys just gave us so many good questions and so I want to do a part two to answer everything we possibly can. So there's lots to do today, but yeah, I just wanted to start off we're talking to you about how do you feel about this, you know, being super productive because, as I said, I have a love-hate relationship with it because one minute it's like, yeah, I'm smashing this, I'm really confident, I'm doing this, I'm really focused, I'm just in the zone and I can get into my flow state really quickly and then I'll have a couple of days in a row where it's like, this is not happening. <gasps> Help me! Ooh, I think I just heard the car door. I think Tom is back. Yes, he is. Yay! Oh, it's bright out here. He's home. Thank you. He's home. What did you catch? Some squid? Did yeah. you get some squid? Nah. Oh, let's. Squid? Yeah, I want to see the squid. Oh ink everywhere. Squid. Squid. Oh my god. I meant you got a big cuttlefish. Wow, look at that. It's very cool. Hang on, it's very bright. I'm trying to see if I can get in focus here. Oh, that's cool. Cuttlefish, squid. Yum. Look at the big sucker. <laughs> Calamari for dinner. Squid. Squid. And one garfish. One, one garfish. It's a, bit, it's a bit inky. Covered in ink. Right. Just rinse the ink off and everything. <laughs> yeah, don't don't touch anything. <laughs> Stay away. So, while Tom derigs the boat outside, I am trying to sort out all the hard drive scenarios. At the moment, um, I'm backing these two up because I duplicate absolutely everything. So, if there's a problem, um, as you can see here, I have like I basically have doubles of everything. These are the new hard drives that I'm using at the moment. They're um, solid state and they're just so light. This is something that people don't really kind of encounter when it comes to YouTube. I actually have to buy another one of these because these I'm just running out of space but look at the price 
Ah, uh, it's so expensive to get these, it's insane. And I have to get two of them. Ah! I'm doing the backup at the moment. This is gonna take about an hour. I did say before that I was clearing up my desk. I've kind of half got there. I've cleared up my paperwork. I have put everything. I've sorted out um, like the business file. So we've got basically, I've put all of the business paperwork into categories, into here. And um, that's all kind of sorted now. So at least that's off my desk. I've also got all the questions ready for the Q&A and I kind of crossed off the ones that you guys have already asked and pulled them off all the different platforms. So ready to go there. We're getting there. I just, I really need to clear up my tech table. That's a little bit chaotic at the moment. And yeah, as I said, this is all a little bit, ah! But sorting out all my hard drives and sorting out my SD cards and making sure everything is backed up. It's a lot of palaver, you know? There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes when you're just doing just general stuff, you know, just running a YouTube channel. There's all these bits and bobs, all these different moving parts, all these components that you have to deal with. You have to keep on top of it as well, because if you let it <laughs> slide, then you're like, ah, have I got that backed up? Have I got this bit of footage? I mean, I used it for this, but have I backed it up on my second hard drive just in case one fails? It's chaotic. There's a lot going on. There's a lot to process. What's that? It's the squid's backbone. That's really insane. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah. Not as crazy as a cuttlefish backbone. Oh my goodness. Wow. So that's what we see on the beach all the time. It's like... Yeah. And see how big that is? Yeah. To how big that is? Yeah. Imagine the ones that are that big. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Huge. You, you see the real big ones all the time. Yeah. We're just quickly popping to our friend's house because they're away for the weekend and we have to feed the chickens. Check the chickens are okay. So I thought I'd show you guys the chickens because I know you guys love chickens. Whenever I show chickens from Tom's dad's house, everyone's like, oh, the chickens. <laughs> so the chickens are actually right next to Tom's workshop. Tom's workshop is in there. And they're so big now. Look how big these chickens are. They were little chicks last time I saw them. They're so cute. This one is definitely trying to make a run for it. So is that one. This one's trying to get out. He literally wants to escape. He's coming to say hi. No. Ah! <laughs> Look at the door. Heaps of food. They're what? Heaps of food. They've got it? heaps of food. Oh, that's good. As long as they've got lots of food and lots of water. We need to turn the light on for them. What's it for? It's a heat light. I don't think what? they need it. I don't think they do. I think it's warm enough, right? Yeah, I might just plug it in just in case. We're going to make some calamari for them. I'm also having a bit of veg bake because you know I need vegetables but I wanted to show you guys the calamari making process because it's fun. Flour, breadcrumbs, obviously coffee. <laughs> That's nothing to do with the recipe. And Crucial squid. Crucial part Charlie, what are you talking about? Crucial part obviously. Sweet, sweet caffeine. <laughs> You and your caffeine. Tommy, you really honestly. Did you manage to get all the squid ink off you? Mostly. <sighs> you did Just well then. my neck still. Mm. No, you're all right, no. actually. I think it's okay. You've done well. So. Slice the squid into rings. Chuck the calamari in the flour. We don't have any eggs left. We haven't gone shopping, so we've run out of eggs. So we're gonna have to do this without egg, which is gonna be interesting. How are we gonna make the breadcrumb stick, Tommy Roo? Try something I haven't done before, but it should work in theory. <laughs> He's making a mess. This is not how we do it normally, obviously. We just need to go to the shop, so we haven't had time. Too busy all the time. Something is going to have to stop because this is just getting out of control. Um, also got a little bit of garfish there as well. Mixed grill. A mixed grill of, of fish for lunch. Oh, I see. You've had to make some sort of battery thing. Yeah. 
be interesting. I don't know how it's going to go. Find out. Mm -hmm. I if it sticks the crumbs to the, the things. Yeah. Tom's going to be crumbing those. I'm eating some veggie bake that he made the other day. It's got like carrots and aubergine and squash and potato and it's delicious. It's been my saviour for the last few days. My veggie bake. Thanks, Brew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do I film this without getting attacked by oil? Oh. Oh. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in. Camera's struggling to focus on everything. There we go. Oh, yum, look at that. Hell yeah. Nice work, Tommy Roo. Mm. They're going to be delicious. It smells pretty nice. They smell good. As fresh as you can get. Caught this morning having it for lunch. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Slightly late lunch, but still. <laughs> Still fresh. Yeah, I know. It's like oh, almost two o'clock. Oops. Yum! Yay! Just gonna have some calamari with a little bit of sweet chili, maybe a bit of tartar sauce. Tom is apparently having burger sauce. It's all about the burger sauce, Ted. Burger sauce. No, it's very bright outside in contrast, but mm. it's not going to focus on this, is it? No, no, anyway. I'm going to get a shot of me breaking this fish fillet up. Yeah, maybe. I just want to, I just want to taste this first. Mm. A bit of crunch, eh? It's so good. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh, look at that. That's pretty epic. Oh, yum! That crunch. <laughs> Tom has ruined calamari for me because I can't have it anywhere now apart from like fresh. Like I can't order it in a restaurant or like, you know, in a pub or whatever because it just doesn't taste like calamari. This is outrageously good. It's also quite exciting because it's a seafood I'm actually allowed to eat whilst pregnant. <laughs> I'm really happy right now. So the plan is finish this, film the Q&A, get the shopping in because apparently we've run out of everything like eggs and milk. <laughs> Oopsie! Um, and then sort out, we need to just double check we've done all the work we need to do for next week's course, for the business course, because I think we've missed a module. Uh, I need to start packing the hospital bag, which I've been going on about for like what feels like ages. And there's about a million other things to do on the list, so we're gonna have to just really <laughs> focus this weekend. It's too much to do, and I kind of like to just have some time off, but like that doesn't seem to happen these days. Just getting set up, put the two lights there, gonna put the camera on this tripod. And then we're going to sit there and we're going to film. I have to turn off all the ambient sounds. So I have to turn off the freezer and this fridge because they're horrible. Obviously close the door. Oh, okay, are you ready for this Tommy Roo? How did it, how did it go Tommy Roo? It's good. Yeah, you enjoyed that? Yeah. <laughs> so, some I'm more. I'm a bit tired. But yeah, I know. Tom was literally out all night. Fish, he fished in the evening and then he fished in the morning. So I think it's like game over for him. Yeah, we fished until like 1 a.m. 1 a.m. Then we got up to 6. And then... <laughs> Seriously. That's why he's like got a little bit of a lack of energy today. Yep. <laughs> Baked potato. Oh, we need to go to the shops and go and actually get some milk, etc., etc. Otherwise, we're just not going to have anything. Um, and then get on with the rest of the day. Jeez, there's just so much to do. <sighs> Whew. 
Oh, and that's my alarm to turn the fridges back on again. If I don't set an alarm, it doesn't happen. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm losing the plot a bit today. Yeah, I'm me completely too. exhausted. I just want to stop. We're gonna have to rethink things. I'm just like, me. I may or may not have bought some strawberry laces from the supermarket in Pulse Buy. Oopsie. Anyway, in an attempt to try and stay productive this afternoon, which I can tell is fading very, very quickly, I'm going to try and put all my to-do list together because at the moment, I mean, I, I basically, this is kind of my system, I work from a book, a diary, I have all my stuff in here. Um, I also work from notes on my phone and I work from um, a spreadsheet, a to-do list on my computer. And it's just, it's all over the place. And I'm trying to, at the moment, juggle so many different topics. So at the moment, I'm trying to split everything down into categories. And the main ones are obviously the business. And then I've got my YouTube channel. Then I've got um, separate clients. I've also, then I'm working on just my, obviously my stuff, like to do with the baby and to do with running the household. And then there's like visa things. There's just a million different things going on. So I'm just gonna try and go through them all meticulously, put them all down on one big list, which is gonna be very intimidating. But also I feel like I'm just gonna put all the lists together so I'm not just working from a book and from my phone notes and from everything else. So yeah. That's what I'm going to do this afternoon. <sighs> I've finished my lists. I've put them all into categories whilst watching in the best exotic marigold hotel. Tom's going to cook some dinner. Don't look over there, Nessie. Don't look over where? Yeah, on the bench. <laughs> it's covered in breadcrumbs. Oh yeah, we haven't cleared up yet, but can you see? Big pile of beans from the garden. We're going to have homemade chicken Kiev with green beans and some mashed potato. Probably some silver beet. And some silver beet. I need more vegetables. I'm feeling like I need an extra dose of veg. <laughs> I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. So on Wednesday, we will be publishing part two of the Q&A. And thanks for watching guys. <laughs> You know what to do. Make sure you hit all the buttons. Just help me out. Please help me out. And we'll see you on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs>